Hello again, good people, and welcome back to Terra Firmacraft. Uh, you guys probably know as well as I do about the recent updates and like the train generation changes and all the huge things they've added, like stalactites and underground rivers and bears and deer and happiness and unicorns. They didn't add unicorns. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to change to a new world once again. So I'm sorry. I loved this world too. We just got started, basically, but. I am going to take my random junk with me as soon as I... Basically what's going to happen, I'm going to smelt everything I can into ingots so that it's like easier for me to transfer um, off camera, obviously. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to test out this little doohickey, which um, that I guess they've added in. Uh, at the Whenever I first logged into the world, obviously I was over at the wall. I walked back to start the episode. The wall. It's like Game of Thrones. Um, and I was greeted by a little pop-up saying that I was ha that I was running on an outdated version of Terra Firmacraft. Also, my sound seems a little bit high. Um, so, uh, it's told me that if I press U, it brings up the update manager, which apparently does updates your game in-game, I guess. Uh, but I'm not going to do that yet because I feel like it might break some things. So what I'm going to do first is, um, plus I want to generate new world, so it's not, I, I don't want to do that. I'm like, I'm going to try it just to see what happens and I'll do that on camera. But yeah, I'm going to do all this crap and then I will be back to test out the update manager in probably a long time because that is a lot of crap. Yep. All right, a little progress update. I finished making all the copper into ingots as well as some of the um, galena and most of the magnetite pitch blend is useless according to one of the comments I haven't even tried also we finished with the native silver so this is what we have uh, this is all the copper ingots this is all the tin I let them cool down in my inventory so I could stack them uh, we also have pig iron from the magnetite silver from the galena and lead from the galena uh, lots of non-filled ones in here that I don't want to craft together because I'll feel like I'm wasting some. Uh, the reason that we have so much silver is because we had both the silver ore and also galena, which yields kind of a significant amount of silver, actually. And the only thing that I can see silver being used for in the future is um, black bronze. That's like, it's silver, gold, and copper, I think. So, yeah, not all that useful, really. I mean, that's awesome that we have it, but... I'd rather have, I don't know, iron, but we do, we do have a lot of iron as well and a lot of copper as you can tell. Um, so yeah, I'll be back whenever I finish completely and yeah, I'll give you guys an update then. Alrighty, new update. Uh, everything has been turned into uh, liquid form, unshaped, well not liquid form, but unshaped form. Uh, the reason I'm not uh, turning them into ingots is because silver is fairly useless as an ingot ingots I would assume it is actually I don't know for sure um, I should have left some copper in liquid stage because I guess I can still t convert it back but um, yeah because I, I wanted it I was saving these to make alloy the um, bismuth bronze alloy out of and I could actually make three with what I have and six uh, copper but I would need a um, hammer to work that into the bismuth bronze anyway um, and in order to work bismuth bronze you need to have a copper anvil and in order to have a copper anvil you need to have double ingots of copper and in order to have double ingots of copper you need to have flux and in order to have flux you need to have a metal hammer so it all comes down to the metal hammer so I grabbed my ink business let's uh, go and make ourselves a hammer plan and attempt to make a metal hammer for whenever we find a flux stone in the new world. Hopefully we will right off the bat. I hope that uh, we get ourselves a good world. Ah, uh, we have one piece of paper. Let us use it, use it wisely on a hammer so that we can move along the power curve as it were. Yes, there we go. So we'll do this and then I think that's everything. And then what'll have to happen is I'll have to transfer all these double chests. This is everything I had in my inventory before I started doing metal crap. So, yep, this is all our junk. Uh, let's make ourselves a, um, I guess, I guess tin. 
tin hammer. So throw this charcoal in here. I ha I've gone through a bunch of charcoal, by the way. So yeah, that's a thing, I guess. Okay, so once this gets hot, um, hot with a couple of stars on it, I'll throw it in here with this plan. And we should be able to make ourselves a metal hammer for the flux. That was quick. <coughs> yes. But anyway, guys, it's been like a lot of work getting this done. I think I've wasted a ton of coal in here. Look at that. I wish I had some more ores to throw in there, but I suppose we could throw in pitch blend just to see if it does anything. I don't think it'll even... Like, once it lands in the bottom, it's not going to suck it up. It's just going to stay there. Yeah. And then I don't know what gypsum's used for. I need some food. Give me them eggs. Yes. Eat them sunny side up eggs. Now oh, they do a nice amount. Okay, that that's perfect. Throw that in there. Uh, punch last, shrink not last. Okay. Um, punch. Wait a minute. Is it not hot enough anymore? Dang it. Dang it. Get hotter. Hot, 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 hot. Tin is quite possibly like the hardest metal to work ever. Um, all right, there we go. Four stars. Perfect. Get in there. Um, punch. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Not perfect, but good. Not perfect, but good. All right. Let's make ourselves the hammer. Um, one small step, blah, 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 blah. And then whenever we find goodies in the new world, we will be able to make ourselves a cool um, double ingots and whatnot. So from here, what do we do? I'll tell you what we do. We update and then generate a new world. And then I transfer all of our goodies in chests to the new world. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this house though because I really I don't like it that much if you know what I'm saying It's not it's not my like whole shebang I don't like I don't really like that the half slabs floors like they make it safe against monsters and stuff Because monsters make, can't spawn but like it's impossible for a monster to spawn in there anyway So what I think I'll do is I'll pack all of my belongings everything I want to take in these six chests Because we will need all those three because they have all our metals Maybe only five chests. And then from there, I will, you know, use the updater. So I'll be back whenever I'm prepared to start anew. Yeah. Alrighty, I have stripped this place of everything meaningful to its existence. Um, basically, I've taken out all of the items that I don't want to have to MC edit because I'm lazy, which basically means crafting table, scribing table, all that shabazz, the lazzle bazzle. So basically, I've congested it. Congested. Um, con something. I don't know. I've reduced it to four, wait, five chests. This one, which has all our trees in it, all our wood, crap like that. Let me grab this and put it in here just because it can fit. And all this random crap that I don't want in my inventory. Um, this one, with all the redstone. Oops. And to close the door um, and then the three on the right side just making sure there was nothing in those which basically has all of our gear from out here and all of our metal so I think it's about time we test the updater it's gonna make me really sad because like I just started this world and now it's gonna be all like busted again gotta start a brand new one maybe the new one will be just as good I don't know basically we've just like stolen everything from this world like it's all its fruit trees and stuff so oh you know one thing I should definitely take um, are these these saplings up here at least a couple so whatever's not grown I'll take so I'll take um these oak and oak and uh, hickory saplings because they seem they're my favorite types of wood to use in cooking stuff and whatnot um what else what else I want at least one more oak sapling. Can I please have two? Thank you. Thank you. On the first leaf I broke. The trees the trees are working well with me today. So, time to test the updater. Let's get inside this like little safety area. And here we go. You. Update. Oh, okay. It tabbed me out. Oh, I see. It takes you to it takes you to the actual website page. It doesn't update it inside game. Well, now we know. 
I just wanted to test it out on camera in case something crazy happened. So, uh, I guess we'll just, I'll see you guys in the new world. All right, so I know I said that I would start in the new world, but I saw this menu and I thought I should uh, say something about it. So, as you can see in the bottom, it says there's five mods. I don't know which mods those exactly are. I know I have the map installed, as well as uh, player API, which is new because it's required now. Gives you access to the player class, apparently. I guess I can see this. I guess I have Forge, the Mod Update Manager, too many items, obviously. That's for bugs, if you were wondering. If something buggy happens, I don't like to lose my stuff because of it. So I usually just give myself the item if something like that happens. Which doesn't happen too much anymore. At the very start of the mod, it did. Uh, another, okay, for, Forge Mod Loader, Forge mod forge and then tfc and raise minimap okay so that's cool um let's check out the options see if anything's different doesn't seem like it and then there's the texture packs obviously which i don't have any of because the play on the default texture pack all right so uh, i can't delete this yet because i'll have to transfer our stuff from it but for now um Let's create a new world. And we'll start creative because I want to find a good spot to build before I like go all crazy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Let's call it Terra Firmacraft. Um, uh, we'll just put this new. And also I'll give you guys a seed if you want. It'll be called, let's do my name. That's new, I haven't tried that. Let's do that. Create new world. Ooh, yes. Show me the money. Alrighty. Let's see the new things that are in store. All right. Apparently, you spawn facing south. Interesting. Not the best frames happening right now. Fruit tree right there. What is this? Is this the new... Oh god, I'm in creative. Uh, pick block. That is sand. I'll fix it. Um, okay. Interesting. What is this? Uh, I, I was trying to pick block it because I know you get... um. Okay, you know, we'll just, we'll just get rid of it for now. Or forever, I guess. Yeah, there we go. All right, so let's check what kind of stone is here. Also, this is really weird looking. It's a one, it's like a swamp lake and there's sheepies. This, the water looks really different. Like I thought that the sand was some sort of like weird ore because of the green water textures. All right, whatever, let's check out the stone. See what type of stone it is. All right, what is this? Shale, useless. Okay. Well, now we know. Ah, the new sound effects are in. Fantastic. The dirt falling sound effects? That's wonderful. Let's head north. Um, that seems like the easiest way to find our way back to natural spawn or to our house if something terrible were to happen. So, also we should do that. Forest one plains. So now we're in a new place. We should check the stone. Seems to be... Dolomite, apparently. Alright, fill this hole in so we'll never know. Listen to the cool new sound effects. And fly some more while we're at it. Planes 1. Ooh. Okay, I know <laughs> I know that's not an oak sapling. It looks cool, though. Whatever it is. Um, Alright. New world gen. River planes. Does the stone change for rivers? Yes, it does, and it is chalk. I wonder if it's plains here still. Is it chalk here? Ooh, all right. Let's test. Uh, let's test something. Time to break this and get a rock. Cool, dolomite rock. Can I place it? Uh, uh. <laughs> I picked up little rock. I make big rock. Big rock make. 
<laughs> That's awesome. You get a little tiny item, and then you can place it, and it's huge. That's terrible. That makes no sense. All right, whatever. We need to check. Uh, I want to do a test for science to see if the plain stone is the same as the river plains. What is this? It is different. Interesting. Ah, Come, comrades. Let's find a more convenient place to harvest our chalk than there. Plains. What is this funky tree? What the heck? <laughs> White cedar, huh? <laughs> funky. I like it. I like it. Oh, forest one again. This looks like shale. I hope they're not basing it off biome now because that was two forests in a row that had shale. Alright. Please tell me that's not the case. Also, this forest is really thick. Okay, now where are we? River Plains. Not gonna check under it because I'm not going to live there because it'd be inconvenient. But all these plains are a really good spot for a house. Um, okay. Still plains, still plains. We're getting pretty far away from natural spawn. I hope I don't have to go too far to find an easy to harvest flux source. Ocean. This is not an ocean silly game, this is a pond. This, on the other hand, is a lake. Um, a very weird lake. Look at the map, it's freaky. It's really cool, but it's freaky. What is this? Looks like um, some sort of conglomerate stone that I don't want. Silt stone, gross. Gross, forest six, river forest. Can I please have one that is on land that is not disgusting? River hills. Oh no, it's ocean. Okay, we're going back. Um, that that pond seems really convenient all of a sudden. Joy, joy. So I think I'm probably gonna cut here because this is not all that exciting. I'm just kind of looking for a spot with chalk. Yeah, so I'll be back whenever I find some. Tell me this isn't what I think it is. It's not what I think it is. Huzzah! I thought it was the buggy sulfur block that he said was fixed. Oh, well. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> well, in my search for flux, I have come across a pack of bears. And here they are in all their glory and derpiness. They're like little teddy bears. It's awesome. They're very brown. <laughs> I will say that much. Also, the textures are awesome recently. Although I can't seem to find any of the stone that I actually need. Uh, as you can see by my inventory, I've been pick blocking all over the place and have found several different types of, of um, cobble. Several different types of stone. I haven't found anything. It's all right. It's all right. I'll find it sometime. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I will find myself some flux before I settle down. I no. I will not make this mistake again. I already flew over an ocean. I will cut back whenever something interesting happens. And now for something completely different. I tried so hard and got so far, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Would you take a gander at that mountain? Can you take a guess as to what it is made of? Bill? Well, you see, it is made of limestone. Limestone. You know what limestone can be used for? Flux. 
I think I just spent the better part of an hour trying to locate a source of flux, and here it is! Isn't it beautiful? An entire mountain made out of a flux stone. The, the first freaking place I could find anything that can be made into flux, besides that one little pond that was in a plains that could make flux. If I had known that would be the only place I would have built there. If it would have saved all of this time. Now, the only thing left to do is find an actual place to build a home near here. God knows. Um, what I do know is that jungles always have granite stone. I have, so far I have not discovered a single biome that has the same name as, like, two biomes that have the same exact name that have different stone types. Every single jungle biome that I have checked has had granite, so. Oh, accidentally found a cave. So yeah, granite, look. Every single one I find is granite. Uh, a logical man would say that that means that all jungle hill biomes are made of granite. So that's that's good. We have a good granite source right there. Not that we need stone for anything else besides building. I don't actually know what type of stone is under the sand. I think it's like conglomerate of some kind. Makes sense. It's a desert. It's got sand on top of it. This is weird. <laughs> There's a small desert six chunk right here. And then there's a hill's nine edge. That's hilarious. Okay. So, um, I think I'm going to end up building in the desert. Actually, no. In the desert would be a terrible idea. I wouldn't be able to grow my um, tree farm on it. Although there is an ocean on this side of the mountain. And that could be slightly inconvenient and dangerous for my health. So, that's cool. That is cool. Um, okay, it's just that little bit that's... All right, there's lots of limestone around here. Limestone is good. Limestone is very good. All right, well, there was a plains that was really good for building, but it didn't... I didn't have the right type of stone. I, they really need to mix it up a bit. Like, this, the way that it works now, I don't, I don't like it. It takes a long time to find type of stone that you actually need by walking by flying it takes a long time okay so I think what I'm gonna end up do is chopping down all these trees and then building here maybe maybe not I don't know I need to get rid of this chunk area first okay this this biome extends for a bit let's let's check it out a bit more see if there's not something suitable to build on it is a hills biome which basically means like it's gonna try and screw you over in every way possible so that's fantastic. Just uh, going south here, no big deal. Is it? Wait, I need to keep that out to make sure it's still the same. Um, look, more bears. They're everywhere nowadays. <laughs> uh, what is this? What is this? This is cool. All right. Okay. That. All right. All right. Stop lagging, please. Okay. So this is a forest. It's beautiful. I know. Um. Uh, well, at least I'm glad I found it. I was getting really frustrated, if you couldn't tell. But I found it, and all is well. Now we just need to pick a good spot to build. I might just fill in a body of water and then, like, build there, because that seems easier than chopping down an entire forest to make space for my home. Or we could build it inside a mountain and dig everything out, but that would be a huge pain, especially since we'd have to have supports. Uh, dilemma, dilemma. I'll get back to you guys whenever I figure something. Would you look at that? This looks like a perfect place to build a home. With no trees or anything. There's not a pond or anything in the middle. It's so beautiful and perfect for a home. So clear and devoid of anything other than dirt. Why, it's absolutely picture perfect, I would say. Picture perfect. <laughs> yes. Alrighty guys, what you see here is my last attempt at trying to move our stuff in these chests from the old world to the new world. Originally I just put um, these three and then this one and that one in like a stack of like chests in the world. 
and then it crashed my game when I tried to open them. So I was like, huh, well that's strange, I wonder what I did wrong. So now I, I tried saving it as a schematic as opposed to um, copy pasting it from one into the other without uh, actually saving the file. This is my schematic attempt and the same happens. I'm not going to demonstrate for you because that would end the re recording session and then I'd have to uh, restart it but and you wouldn't even be able to see the crash screen anyway. But I've discovered the cause and I'm kind of like kicking myself for not realizing it at the very start. Um, it's because the new chests only hold, like they hold less than your normal inventory space. They only hold um, 18 slots, I think, just from a glance at that. Yeah, 18 slots. And the single ones hold nine. So it's not exponential anymore like it was. Um, yeah, that, that that's lame. So basically what I'm guessing is happening is these old chests still hold a massive amount of crap or they don't hold a massive amount of crap and they have a massive amount of crap inside of them so there's some serious shenanigans going on there I can't even break the things it crashes my game to try and break them probably because all of the items inside would spill out and it would be confused like what I was holding all these items so yeah basically what's gonna have to happen at this point I'm going to have to look inside like even like they don't work if I go into the old world and try and open the chest that had stuff in them um, what I can do, what I can try, is make a bunch of chests, uh, but I can't do that because I'll have to backdate to the older version, which I don't think is possible. I think I'm going to have to watch the video and see how much stuff I have and just uh, bring it all into the world through um, Creative or TMI or something, because this is really getting on my nerves. So yeah, that's what's going to have to happen, guys. Um, also, this episode's getting kind of close to an end, and I think this is a good point to stop. Uh, I think next episode I'll build my house. Um, I was planning on doing it this time, but like I'm getting kind of frustrated with all the um, all the change I things that are happening, and I don't have TMI anymore. Fantastic, gotta use a bed. Apparently TMI, I didn't have it on the new jar that I tried to install it in. So, can't click on it when you're on top of it. Kind of lame. So, yeah, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video regardless. There was a few random clips in there I think you'll find somewhat funny at least. Like, humor me. <laughs> humor me about comedy. All right. So, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you did. And I will end it by demonstrating the crash because that is how we do it. I'll see you guys next time.